All right, I want to post a uh, quick update video to the Shuey J Cruz. Uh, so some good news, and that is that um, it's not hurting my head anymore. If you saw my other video, you would know that um, I had some issues with temple pain. Um, don't confuse it with the dome pain up, up top. That's fine. It's an intermediate oval, just like my shoe berth and other helmets that I've had and, and have still. Um, but this section here, uh, was causing temple pain that was unbearable and uh, on short rides you wouldn't notice it until you got going a little bit but what i had to do is if, if you kind of look here this is kind of if you kind of create a square here um there are two different types of foam inside there's like a, a higher density on the inside that goes towards the shell and then a lower density on the part that touches your face and the problem was it, it stuck out so far that um, it was it was just too firm and it was pressing against my head. And now that I've I've actually separated th those two pieces, they were actually just glued together um, in a square shape. So I just cut it here and um, and just separated them. So now it's actually a much nicer density. But I can tell you, switching the cheek pads uh, would not have been the solution for this problem. And if if you look at the contour now, and I'll I can put it back in here, see if it'll snap. Okay, if you look at the contour, it actually is more like the shoe berth. It's a little thicker here, and it kind of tapers in as you go versus how it was, which was this giant block of foam that just did not fit my face well. And I've never had this problem in many, many years of riding motorcycles and many different helmets. Um, even my $60 built uh, piece of junk helmet never caused any of those problems. So that problem is fixed. But... Um, I have another issue, and I am just uh, day by day hating this helmet more and more. And there's two things. The first is really short. Um, unless you use the Senna SRL2, whatever they want you to use, where this helmet is set up for, you can see it's got the little removable things here. Uh, unless you use the, uh, the, the blessed SRL2 uh, COM system, and anything else barely fits in there. It's an extremely giant hassle to put anything in there. The pockets are only really designed, or the, the, the speaker pockets are only designed for like one basically type of speaker. Fortunately, this is a Senna system. It's not the SRL2, um, but it's a giant pain to put anything in this helmet uh, because when you look inside this helmet, if you have one, you'll notice real quick that um, it is cut out and molded for that system, okay? So enough complaining about that. Here, here's my last thing, and I, I just, I'm at the point I kinda wanna throw this thing off of a bridge, but um, the comfort issue was resolved, and it, and it is comfortable now, it's fine. But I want you to listen to something, and I thought when I first got it that it was doing this, and and I thought it was doing this because it was new, but listen. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's kind of like a crunching sound that the helmet makes as you wear it. And just the airflow over top of it makes it make this noise. And it's like amplified in your ears and it sounds like a termite munching on wood. And at first you're like, okay, maybe it's new, it needs to break in. But like, I've, I've worn this thing for a couple hundred miles now and probably continuously a couple hours at a time. and. And, and put that all together, it's, pro it's probably been on my head for six to eight hours. And still, as I ride, it has this creaking, munching, crackling sound that it makes in your ears the entire time. I absolutely hate this helmet. Um, it, is, it is quickly becoming a $550 paperweight, and I know lots of people love this helmet, and it has great reviews online. But I'll tell you right now, the build quality of this shoey compared to my shoe berth... <laughs> or my higher end HJC or my Arai Defiant, they are not even in the same ballpark. The creaking and the construction of this helmet is absolutely disappointing and I hate it. Anyways, um, 550 bucks down the drain is, is, what, is, is what I've got going on here. Uh, J. Cruz 2 is supposed to be, supposed to be fantastic. All, all the rave reviews that I read about it. Um, maybe I got the lemon, you know, and, and all the other ones are fine. Nevertheless, you can't return it. 
Um, you can call up Shuey and they're not going to, in, in fact, I, I had to call them about a sun visor issue on the first one that said it didn't work. Um, this one works. But um, I can tell you, um, t talking to them about the creaking issue, um, they're not very sympathetic. And they kind of, I don't know, you get, you get the feeling that they think you're a little crazy. Um, but Schubert C3 Pro ain't doing it. And uh, other ones are not cheap junk helmets or not, but this thing just is hell bent on driving me nuts. And uh, so, if any scuba divers ever find it, you'll know why. Anyways, Shuey J Cruise 2, absolutely hate it. Hey, thanks for watching.